So I have 192 books that I have not read. I downloaded an app that will pick one of these books at random. Protector. What's up, dude? We're gonna talk about Larry Niven's Protector. I was excited for this book. It's not really that good, I'm sorry to say. That's kind of the nutshell. This was published a year before The Moat in God's Eye, which Niven wrote, co-wrote with Jerry Purnell, and that's one of my favorite ever science fiction books. And this was kind of, it feels like a warm-up exercise for that book. If you're familiar with the book, it's this first contact masterpiece, I think this genre spanning, big, thick, awesome piece of space opera. This has a foretaste of that. It has flavors of that. When I started reading the book, I was really into it because it feels, as you're reading it, like mode in God's eye. That doesn't really last. There's not a whole lot that I can say about this book without spoiling the one really cool part of the book. There's a reveal about a quarter of the way into the book that's the big conceit at the heart of it that is cool. It's like a cool idea. I can say nothing about it without ruining the book. I'm just gonna give the briefest sketch of an overview. There is an alien on a ship that is traveling for tens of thousands of years. He's sitting in the control seat of this ship, staring out unblinkingly into the void and eating turnips. Also, there's some world building with a far future human society where we are split down the middle between a population that lives on Earth called Flatlanders and human kind of smuggler Han Solo type sort of libertarians that live in the asteroid belt and they're called belters and there are cultural differences and there's a political context to the book to do with two governments that are kind of at odds and the alien enters into this scenario. So it's split up into two halves with a little bit of interstitial material sandwiched in there. And I didn't realize that at first until I got to book two. And immediately I could tell that this was a short story or two short stories that Niven smashed together into one novel and there's not enough connective tissue to really make it hang together. And it feels tawdry, frankly, uh, it feels cheap. There are fix up novels that are great I just reviewed recently, fairly recently, City by uh, Clifford Simak. That's a stitch up novel and it's great. And this just feels like kind of a hack job a little bit. So the first story is good. There's a stride that's hit that's pretty exciting and I was really excited to read it. And I think that the central idea of the book is, is pretty cool. It's a good idea that uh, does not carry the entire book through the rest of the plot to the end. The book is also really dated. There's technological forecasting that's like really off. That's not a deal breaker for me. I don't really care that much, except that it's a really heavy, strong flavor in this book. There are people in the year like 2134 or whenever it takes place using audio reels. And there's a, a part where you can tell that you're in the future because somebody has coffee and tea spigots built into their office desk. That's not a sin, but it does knock you out of the story. And there are a lot of details like that, small details that pile up and make it hard to suspend disbelief and make it hard for you to not get snapped out of the narrative itself. I can't call it a bad book. There's some like good hard sci-fi in it. There's some stuff that's interesting about space warfare on a gigantic time delay that's pretty cool. It's just really mixed. It's not like boring. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down. Also a quick read. I have currently 201 unread titles. We're gonna find out together what the next book I read is. Wish me luck. The Death World Trilogy. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm pleased by this. This is a recent addition to my um, overly glutted haul uh, or collection of science fiction books. So I've never read Harry Harrison. He's, I think, most famous for having written the Stainless Steel Rat series. That's how I got introduced to at least his name. I've never read him. This looks sweet. And I just finished a military sci-fi book in my previous video uh, on my way to paradise. And I actually really like military sci-fi typically. 
So I'm gonna be reading this entire thing. The deal with this is I have to finish this. I cannot DNF it and I'm gonna try to read it in short order. So stay tuned for an update about a book that you have never heard of. <laughs>